one of the one of the biggest values that, that Tesla can, can can provide is serving as an example to the rest of the auto interest industry because right now the auto interest you know the big car companies believe that a, 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 a viable electric vehicle is not possible and b if, even if it was people wouldn't buy it so we need to show that that neither of those are true uh, that the technology works that people want to buy it and and that will be the most effective way of of, of really driving change in the in the auto industry is by serving as, a, as an example in that matter you think so absolutely mm -hmm. Welcome to the We Robot Party. So we, we, have, uh, we have quite a show for you tonight. I think, uh, I think you're going to like it. Uh, as you can see, I just uh, arrived in the RoboTaxi, the cyber cab. And uh, there's uh, 20 more where that came from. So they've been traveling, they're all, there's no people in them, as you can see, the car's just going by with no people. And we have, uh, we have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. Uh, so you'll see Model Ys and the Cyber Cab, uh, all driverless. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to take a ride in the cyber cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. So I hope this goes well. <laughs> I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city um, not, not the ticket price, because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Yeah. We do expect, actually, to, to start a fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. Yeah. And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the cyber cab, that, which is really um, hi, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames, um, but, but in, to, in, in 2026. So, yeah. Before 2027, let me put it that way. <laughs> when, you, when you get in, you'll see, like, it's really quite a wild experience to just be in a car with no steering wheel, no pedals, no controls, and it feels great. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the RoboTaxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So yeah, it's kind of how it should be. Oh, and uh, also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The, the Reboven. The Reboven is, uh, this is, a, we, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people, and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city, uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. So this is gonna, <laughs> the Reboven is what's gonna solve for high density. So if you, if you want to take a sports team somewhere, or um, you're looking to, to really get uh, the cost of travel down to, I don't know, five, 10 cents a mile, 
then you can use the Robovan. Some people call it the Robovan, but... Uh, <laughs> speaking of robots... So, everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. And I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction long term. Now, you know, it'll take us a minute to get to the long term, but, um, but fundamentally at scale, uh, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks. Um, Whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind.